Since 2005, many have been following the tragic story of Natalie Holloway, the American teen who disappeared in Aruba, declared legally dead in 2012, though her body has never been found. Now, the Holloway family is finally getting their day in court. Joran Vandersloot, the last person to see Natalie alive, has been extradited to Alabama to face charges in connection with her disappearance. He has entered a plea of not guilty. He's already serving a sentence in Peru for the murder of a woman there. And here to tell us more is Holloway family spokesperson George Seymour. Thank you so much for being with us today, George. Thank you for having me. So this story has captured the public's attention for many years now. Can you just give us a sense of what was going on behind the scenes to make this extradition take place? Well, behind the scenes, we received a, a contact actually from Greta Van Sestren back in April. And my company was uh, representing the government of Peru. So we worked with the government of Peru, the embassy, and the leadership there in Peru to move this forward. And we're very excited that we're all here uh, to face uh, justice for Natalie, um, finally, after 18 long years. Currently, Vandersloot is facing charges, two charges, extortion and fraud, but not murder. I'm wondering, how do these charges relate to Natalie's disappearance? Well, they're unrelated uh, to her disappearance, uh, but these were the charges that were available to us, and we're hoping that the process would lead to more information in terms of Natalie's whereabouts, uh, remains. What is the Holloway family hoping for at this point? At this time, we're, we're hoping for uh, more answers. Uh, we, we're hoping that this process reveals some information. Uh, we hope that there will be some discovery that presents some more evidence uh, to the ultimate uh, disappearance uh, of Natalie. And uh, we, in terms of justice, the maximum sentence would be 40 years if convicted. And that would be, again, some resemblance for justice for the Holloway family. So we know that uh, Vandersloot has pleaded not guilty to extortion and fraud charges, uh, but he was arrested twice right after Natalie's disappearance, released both times because of a lack of evidence. Is there any new evidence that you know of right now? Again, uh, the able attorneys at the U.S. Uh, Attorney's Office uh, at, in Birmingham will conduct a thorough investigation. They're in that process now of discovery. And we hope that there will be more information that comes forward uh, at this time. We, we are not aware of any additional information or evidence at this time, but that's what the process will allow us. George, just quickly before we go, you are a spokesperson for the family. This has been going on for so long, and there have been ups and downs in the cases. How is uh, Natalie's family doing? The family is doing well, they're, they're very resilient, very strong. They haven't given up hope. It's been 18 years to the day. Uh, Natalie would be 36 years old now. Uh, so uh, Beth uh, and, and Dave, uh, Natalie's father and mother, they had Natalie for 18 years and it's been 18 years without her. They're, fun, they're happy now. We were all together in the courtroom on Friday of last week. Uh, for the arraignment. They're happy that the process is underway and that there will be some resemblance of justice in this case. Right. George Seymour, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us and our best to the Holloway family. Thank you for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.